Josephine Gordon spilled that Meg wore the wrong size moon bump in Brinsworth house trip. In December 2018, Meghan Markle stepped out for a new solo engagement at Brinsworth House, a nursing home and residential care facility in Twickenham, less than an hour outside of London. For the solo event, the Duchess of Sussex wore a grey woolen coat by Canadian brands Sawyer and Keo, with a midi-length floral dress by coveted brand Brock Collection. The Duchess of Sussex said she was very good when asked how she was feeling, adding, I'm feeling very pregnant today. Speaking with resident Josephine Gordon, a retired West End actress, Meghan asked, Do you have kids? To which Josephine replied, No, I don't. I had a career. Meghan replied, Yeah. I understand. On December the 11th, 2018, Meghan would have been 133 days along, exactly 19 weeks pregnant. I don't know a single pregnant woman who holds a belly when she's in a four-month trimester. Most of us still have relatively flat stomachs. If we're having one child, that is. Megan held a bump at the end of her first trimester. That's bizarre, no matter how you look at it. When looking for photos of Megan from December 2018 to see if she had any belly worth holding on to, and wouldn't you know, I found the infamous holiday sundress and sausage casing that she wore to Brinsworth House on December the 18th, more or less exactly five months pregnant. An athletic yoga enthusiast like Megan would have strong abdominal muscles. Sure, she carries weight in the belly area. But this is not a five-month pregnant belly, this is a six-month pregnant belly. She's a month off developmentally if Archie was born on May the 6th. Those people who observed Harry's misspeaking about newborn Archie's changes over the last few weeks, maybe Meghan got a bump size as confused and was going off the surrogate's due date and not a May the 6th birthday. Josephine Gordon reveals Meghan brought the wrong size moon bump, too big of a bump, with her and had to force herself into the dress even though it was skin tight, because who in their right mind, while representing the friggin' royal family, would think that dress was appropriate? Also, I've never noticed how sloppy she is when she arrives. Why is the belt of a coat hanging down the sides like that? She's the one who wants to be a duchess so badly. She's the one who wants to be a duchess so badly. People noticed the dress is tight, but they didn't notice that a moon bump deflated during the event. From big round bump to flat square in front of her, she did it herself because she couldn't sit down. There are pictures of her seated with the flat bump too, and then she uses the inflator pump to make it plump back up for the photo op of her leaving. Well, I don't know how it came about, but anyone with two eyes that could see, it was very obvious that she was not looking pregnant in the sense of what most of us women know. Whatever she had underneath her clothes was moving and not in the sense of feeling movement of a baby. The bump would move from side to side and weigh down on times. The most disturbing picture was of her always holding whatever was inside her clothes. Brinsworth House is supported by the Royal Variety Charity, which aids people who've worked in the entertainment industry and need assistance due to old age, illness or hard times. According to Kensington Palace, the charity was established in 1908 and the Queen is its sole patron according to its official website. Meghan was previously attached to the organisation as she and Prince Harry attended the annual Royal Variety performance last month. She wore a black sequined halter top and floor-length skirt by Sophia for the occasion that also made a show strange pregnant belly.